It is useful to have a mental picture for the storage of information within a computer system and a good starting point is to look for something suitable for the representation of the smallest element of storage within a computer and I think a good starting point is to consider this rectangle here which will often be referred to as a flip-flop inside a computer. Now this particular storage element here is capable of storing a 1 or it is capable of storing a zero. It cannot store anything else. It cannot store two, for example, or nine, or 153. No, it can just deal with a one or a zero. And that's because a computer is essentially a two-state device. If we look at this storage element and describe it as the simplest storage element in a computer, what we're saying is it can store a bit, where a bit is a zero or a one. If we now take a number of these storage elements and string them together, as you can see here, what we end up in this particular case is with eight of them together and when we have eight of these individual storage elements where each one can store a bit we say that this can either be a register inside the central processing unit or it can represent a memory location in random access memory or read-only memory for example Now, when we have eight bits like this what we really have is a byte so eight storage elements can store a byte if we now take 16 storage elements, what we're really now saying is that this is a word. So 16 of these individual storage areas strung together, as you can see here, is often referred to as a word. If we have 32, which I haven't drawn here, that's often referred to as a long word. But for this particular video, we're going to be concentrating on a byte, that is 8 bits. In other words, we're going to be concerning ourselves with this particular storage area here, where we have 8 individual elements strung together to give us something capable of storing 8 bits, i.e. a byte. Let's consider eight storage elements, and into each element, let's store a zero. Here we can see I've got eight individual storage elements strung together, and within each we have a zero. Now, if we're going to talk about the numeric value of this, then the numeric value of this is obviously a zero. So the smallest value that can be stored in eight storage elements is shown here, and this particular binary pattern has the value of zero. If we now have a look at what happens when we store all ones within these storage elements, then in fact this gives us 255. So the largest positive value we can store in eight storage elements is 255. If I now have a look at a, another combination of ones and zeros, i.e. here, what we can now see is that this, if we look at its numerical value, has the value of 15. Now, this means that the number range available in 8 storage elements is from 0 to 255, where 0 is the smallest value and 255 is the biggest value. And of course, we have every number in between. So we have 1, 2, 152, and obviously as shown here, the value of 15. A storage element can store one of two states, a zero and a one, and that's because a computer is a two-state machine, because transistors can be switched on and off. Now, binary has two figures, zero and one. It doesn't have the number of figures we have in the number system we've grown up with, deanery, where the figures go from zero, one, two, all the way up to the figure nine. We say binary has a base of two because it only has two figures. Our number system, deanery, the one we're used to, says to have a base of 10 because it has 10 figures. But binary has a base of two because it only has two figures, zero and one. Now, binary is the number system used by computers. We need to be quite clear, however, that binary patterns in a computer do not just represent numeric values. They do represent numeric values, but that's not all the binary patterns represent inside a computer. Binary patterns, for example, can represent instructions, referred to as operation codes in machine code. Now, an operation code tells a computer to add up the contents of two registers, to move a binary pattern from one area of the computer's memory to another. All of these are just binary patterns. They also within a computer have alphanumeric characters. Now when you type anything at the keyboard, you will find yourself typing an A for example, and that generates a binary pattern within a computer. And if you converted that pattern to our number system, it's the number 65. If you typed in capital B, that's the number 66 in our number system, but that would generate a binary pattern. So it is important to realize that within a computer, we have the binary 
number system being used but it doesn't just represent numeric values the patterns represent other things as well depending on the context in which they are placed and used so they can for example represent quantity the number of things machine code instructions called operation codes would be a binary pattern they can represent the things we type at a keyboard they can represent the address of a storage location within random access memory and so on the combination of numbers that can be stored in 8 bits is 2 to the power 8 in other words we can write it out like this we take 2 which is the base of binary and we raise it to the number of bits there are in the number and if there's 8 bits it's 2 to the 8 which means 2 times 2 times 2 8 times and this gives us the number 256 now that's the number of different combinations we can have stored in 8 bits with inside a computer now the range of numbers that can be stored goes from 0 so the biggest number we can store is 255 so the range is said to be from 0 to 255 but that still gives us 256 combinations now if we now double the number of bits i.e. go to 16 bits then we can say that the combination of numbers that can be represented is 2 which is the base of binary again raised to the power 16 which is 2 times 2 times 2 16 times as shown here and the number of combinations we can achieve with 2 to the 16 is 65,536 now we start at 0 so the biggest number must obviously be 1 less than this so the range is from 0 to 65,535 where 65,535 is the biggest number we can store in 16 bits the biggest positive number now the combination of numbers that can be stored in x bits well we take 2 to the x so if it was 32 it would be 2 to the power 32 now what's the range for 2 to the x well it ranges from 0 to 2 to the power of x whatever that is and you take one away 